What is it? It's your girl Chloe and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about why I quit my job. Well, the drama is real, but anyway, let's get into it. So I've been working for this company about three years. Actually, August of this year would have made three years that I was with the company. So I got the job right after I got released from my doctor from having cancer. Um, I had parotid and thyroid cancer at the same time. So it felt good like just being back and working at first i didn't really like the job but i got into it and i made the best of the situation like i literally started from the bottom and worked my way up i really did enjoy what i was doing for the company so anyway the job was fun meeting new people you know i went to work every day with like with a smile on my face like hey y'all how y'all doing i went on and beyond for the company for the customers whatever i truly did love what i was doing about six months ago the job kind of went down dramatically um to the upper management to the new people that was coming in the job went like it shifted the almost all the old workers had left find better positions because basically they didn't like what was going on with the company I personally, I had stayed because I had believed in the company. I'm like, I worked so hard to get where I'm at. I'm just not going to walk away as fast as they did. Staying, I don't think it was a great idea. I started to become stressed out. The place became toxic. Everybody talked about everybody. Half of the staff didn't do their work. Every day was always a new issue. But I stayed. So fast forward to June 11th. So, um, I got to work normal day. Hey, how you doing? You know, at this point, I'm, I'm, I, I love coming to work. I, I'm, I'm starting to get into the drama and the problems. So I'm, I'm coming in there like, Oh, what's going on today? Like who's talking about who, who didn't show up to work? Like I literally was becoming the person that I worked so hard to change over the years. Like now I'm toxic. You know what I'm saying? So I got to work clocked in. Like I said, it was a normal day. I was like, Oh, I want to go downstairs because I want to holler at this uh girl about something she put on social media but we can joke and laugh about it so go downstairs like hey yada 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 you know what i'm saying we shared a couple laugh with each other and then at the point the upper management she saw me and she was like hey come here for a second so i went over there she was like hey um we gotta talk to these two girls about some such and such what what went down da, 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 da. i was like no I'm not going to do it because one of the, one of the persons that they was talking about, I felt that, you know, I, I was loyal to the person and I wasn't going to do it because I know the other party was completely wrong. So I didn't want to get, I really didn't want to get involved with it. I stand for what was right. Then at that point, the upper was like, you do what I say to do. Yada, yada, yada. Like she went on this rampage, like normal. She always go on rampages where she likes to belittle people, talk about people. She just do the most for no reason. And I must add, she's a compulsive liar too. So I'm like, I'm not dealing with this today. I'm not letting nobody talk to me no type of way no more. I'm going home. I'm out. Deuces. So I started to walk to the office at this point. I'm angry. I'm mad. I go in the office. I was like, yo, I quit this mother effer. Yada, yada, yada. Long story short. Got my little stuff. Left. And then I forgot like this little folder thing because I had some really good important information in there. I need to go back and get. So I'm knocking on the door, bam, 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 bam. Came in there, got the folder. And then when I was walking out, I was like, yeah, and such and such said they quitting too because she know what's up and she know she didn't do it. And I know she didn't do it. And I stand for what's real. I stand for what's loyal, yada, yada, yada. Y'all, I had looked like a dummy. I'm going to tell you why I looked like a dummy. Because I was, I said what I said because in that moment, I had believed the other girl that she was going to leave the job because I was technically standing up for her and I was standing up for what's right. So she's like, I'm leaving too because you didn't have to do that for me. If it wasn't for you, yada, yada, yada. So I'm believing her. Well, she didn't quit. She still worked there. And I'm not mad at the fact that she still worked for um, the company. Because, you know, at the end of the day, make your money do you. I'm mad at the fact that she lied to me. She basically lied to me and said she wasn't going to work there anymore. So, now I'm like, why is it that I'm always giving my loyalty to people that doesn't give me back the same type of respect? Like... That's why I don't have friends, y'all. 
that's another reason why I don't have friends. So, anyways, as I'm riding down the road after I quit the job, I'm just riding. It's like the first time I had like took this really deep breath in. It was like I had felt so good. And remind you, I didn't have no other job. I didn't have made no plans on quitting. I didn't know what the future is going to bring to me. All I know was I was out. And it had felt good. So, the following day, now we on Sunday. I'm home just filling out applications. I'm filling out applications all over the place at this point. I'm just filling out applications, drinking, getting drunk. Okay? So... Monday come, I get a phone call. Hi, I might speak to Chloe. Da, 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 da. I'm like, I just heard. She was like, you'll come in for an interview. I'm like, okay. So, I immediately went in there, got the job, started the following day. Now, we're on Tuesday. Okay. The job really wasn't me because I guess I'm so used to, like, that fast-paced job and yada, yada, yada. The job was, like, completely bored, but I made the best of it. I'm doing things and straightening up the things and... They didn't even have to train me because, you know, I caught on really quick. So, my eight-hour shift is over at this point. Um, the store department manager called me in the office and it was like, oh, I love what you do. Um, you would make a great supervisor. Would you like to become a supervisor? And, like, literally work in the office. And I'm like, um, let me think about it. So, I get back to work day two. Come in there, still doing the same thing. And I I don't know, y'all. I just thought my heart just started to feel heavy. I just was like, but I'm still doing the job. You know what I mean? I'm still working. I'm doing the job. Day three, I woke up that morning real crummy like. My throat is hurting. My heart is just like boom, 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 boom. The pain is like really just like awful. But I still go to work. I'm working right around 8 a.m. I'm just like, I can't do it. I just literally, I can't do it. I uh, told um, the store manager, was like, hey, I'm not feeling good. I just really need to go. And it's like, yeah, 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 go home, get yourself together, go to the hospital, whatever. You're like, you know, just call us and let us know what's up. I get to the hospital and I said, you know, I'm going to the hospital because I had uh, thyroid and parotid gland cancer. So I'm thinking, you know, when my chest started hurting, it could be like my medicine need to be adjusted or something. So I'm going in there I'm like, yeah, da, 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 da. they doing all these tests. They're doing everything. It was like, no, we believe you had a panic attack. I'm like, panic attack? Really? So then at this point, I go home. I'm just sleeping, just resting, trying to get myself together and really come up with a plan for the future. Like, what am I going to do? I can't sit here. I got bills. You know what I'm saying? So, um, at that point, I tell you no lie. I was just like going to sleep, trying to get me to rest. My phone rang. I asked the phone, hello. They like, hey, Chloe, such and such. Da, 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 da. I heard that you no longer work for that company. Da, 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 da. I want you to come in and talk to us. Because, you know, we want you. You should have never left working for us to go back to that company. Because, you know, I left that part out. I used to work for another company in the company. And um, I left the company to go work full-time with the company that I just recently quit. So, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Let me sleep on it. I'll come such and such date. Whatever, whatever. So, yesterday... And that will be the 28th. I decided to just go up there. I went up there. I was like, hey, how you doing? You know? And it's like, oh, my God, I'm glad you came. Let's sit down. Let's talk. It was like, yeah, we want, we would love to have you back on our team. You can start off as a team member. You know, basically work your way up to the top, to the top, to the top. Because we like what you, you know, how your work ethics. We like what you was doing for the other company. And since they couldn't respect you, we'll respect you over here. So, it sound good. Now, don't get me wrong. It sounded real good. But here's my thing. The 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 me that's trying not to be petty, I didn't really want to be back in that, 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 that environment at all, to be honest. I really didn't. I really don't want to be in that type of environment anymore because it was so draining to me. But I need the money. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm the richest person in the world. I need the money. So, I'm at this point where I'm just going to think on it. Like, should I go or should I not go to this new company? Because what's going to happen, the old company I used to work for, the upper person, 
she's a petty person. And then she going to think I'm being petty or whatever for Birkin. And she's going to try me. Eventually, she's going to try to try me to bring me out of character. And then on top of that, some of the workers at the old company, I kind of just don't want to deal with RC. You know, we just was like, we just worked together, you know, and seeing them, it's probably going to trigger me, you know, it's going to trigger me. And I, and I, and I try to take myself out of that environment by quitting the job. And then here I go putting myself back into the environment. So is it like, do I really want to be here? Or do I really like this drama? Like, what am I doing here? I can tell you this. I love aviation. I love working in aviation. I just don't love the bull crap that can come behind it. You know what I'm saying? And then I have to face the girl that I basically went ham in for that kind of just stabbed me in my back. Like, Hurr! Like, F you, girl, I need my money, deuces. And I'm really hurt about that. I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. Like I said, I'm not mad at the fact that she still worked there. I'm mad at the fact that she lied to my face. And then I tried to have a um, kind of like a friendship outside of the place. Now that I didn't work there no more, maybe like we could really work on being great friends because I really did like her as a person. Like... She got, she got really good energy, but now that I'm seeing how she moves, I don't know. I was at the point where I was like, maybe we should go out to lunch or something and kind of like speak on it, but is it really worth it at this point? Is it really worth it? Because one thing about me is like, I really don't have friends. Like, I got like two friends that I really F with, like go hard in the paint for. And I strongly believe they'll do the same thing in return. And it seems like every time I try to build like these new type of friendships, it never works for me. And I'm really hurt by that. And I really feel like she should like reach out to me and basically apologize to me for basically lying to me, you know? I, like I said, I'm not on the fact that she's still right there. Make your money, baby. And that's for anybody. Make your money. I'm not mad at you making your money. I'm just upset at the fact that you lied to me. So if you can lie to me about that, what else you lie to me about? Okay? What else you lie about? So, yeah. So with that being said, I'm going to tell y'all something. In life, we got choices. You choose to be happy. You choose to do the things that you want to do. I chose to leave my job that I worked so hard at to become what I was with that company because I was unhappy. I could have stayed there. I could have take constantly being belittled, constantly being lied to, constantly talked to like I'm trash, constantly getting called names just because I wanted the check. No, I chose to leave. So with that being said, if you unhappy in the situation, I mean, that could be work, that could be life, that could be relationship, that can be whatever. Make choices and choose to do what's best for you. I chose to get out that toxic situation so that I can have a peace of mind. So when I wake up in the morning, I can feel great. I was literally going to sleep and waking up thinking about that job. I was literally going through my day. I could be in the grocery store shop shopping. I'm thinking about the job. I'm thinking about something about the job. And honestly, the job was really taking over my life. And I and I couldn't do it anymore. It was really putting me in a, in a situation where that I was unhappy. I was unhappy and I needed to do what's best for me. So with that being said, do what's best for you. Be careful with those snakes. Don't friend everybody. Don't bring everybody in your home. Keep your business to yourself. And make that money as 2022. Oh yeah, my birthday about to come up. So you know the turn up about to be real. So I see y'all guys on the other side. 
Thank you for watching. I got many more videos coming and I may do a part two. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.